Bertie was a very good boy. He was kind, obedient, truthful, and unselfish. He had, however, one great fault. He always forgot. No matter how important the errand, his answer always was, I forgot. When he was sent with a note to the dressmaker, his mother would find the note in his pocket at night. If he was sent to the store in a great hurry to get something for tea, he returned late without the article or with his usual answer. His father and mother talked the matter over and decided that something must be done to make the little boy remember. Christmas was near and Bertie was busy making out a list of things which Santa Claus was to bring to him. Santa Claus may forget some of those things, said his mother. He cannot, replied Bertie. For I shall write sleds and skates and drum and violin, all the things on this paper. Then when Santa Claus goes to my stocking, he will find the list. He can see it and put the things in as fast as he will. Christmas morning came, and Bertie was up at dawn to see what was in the stocking. His mother kept him away for as long as she could, for she knew what Santa Claus had done. Finally, she heard him coming with slow steps to her room. Slowly, he opened the door and came towards her. He held in his hand a list very much longer than the one he had made out. He put it in his mother's hand, while tears of disappointment fell from his eyes. See what Santa Claus left for me? But I think he might have left me one thing besides. His mother opened the roll. It was a list of all the errands Bertie had been asked to do for six months. At the end of it all was written in staring capitals, I, I forgot. forgot. Bertie wept for an hour. Then his mother told him they were all going to Grandpa's. For the first time he would see a Christmas tree. Perhaps something would be growing there for him. It was very strange to Bertie, but on Grandpa's tree he found everything he had written on his list. Was he cured of his bad habit? Not all at once. But when his mother saw that he was particularly heedless, she would say, Remember, Santa Claus does not forget. It was the night before Christmas, when all to the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled our brains for a long winter's night. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a lustre of midday to the objects below. When, what to my wondering eyes should appear, but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. As a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in that moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called him by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky, so up to the housetop, the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then, in the twinkling, I heard on the roof, the prancing and prowling of each little hoof. And I, as I drew my head, and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur, from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His draw little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and his the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the not encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowlful of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink in his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, 
but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like a down to a sizzle. But I heard him slang, hey, he dropped out of sight. Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night.